I kind of got ahead of myself a little bit, so <laughs> let's get back to REZ 2013-10 on Stubbs, Stubbs Lane EA to R1, Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Uh, subject property is located off of Stubbs Lane, and really they're here before you tomorrow night because the way it was actually cut out in uh, around 2004 was not done according to the zoning ordinance. It didn't meet the five-acre minimum lot size requirement. That particular um, issue has rocked along until this year when the three family members who inherited this tract wanted to sell it to someone else not in the family, wanted to um, sell the property. And with that, that's when the research was done about, well, how did the zoning get in place for such a small tract? And here we are. Um, the family was given various options and ways to address this, to include um, acquiring adjacent land from family or potentially rezoning and initially they chose trying to fix it with the zoning so I think some of that history is why you get into some of the conflict between what staff recommended and what the Planning Commission recommended I think staff's main concern was the distance this R1 would be away from existing similar development and we were concerned about the precedent this would set with that the Planning Commission I believe when they heard the story and how the family was put in this position and wanted to basically try to address the situation I think they really just sided with the family we didn't have anyone speak against it we had two people speak for it and we believe it'll be ready for your consideration tomorrow night but that's what um, some of the unique history behind this this request any question for Mr. Davenport okay. hearing none 